Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I was hoping to uh, make an unboxing video for you guys, but since uh, the post office still has my diamond painting package hostage, I haven't received any new diamond paintings to unbox. So I thought that maybe I could try another craft. Um, and the last live show with Didi Willingham I watched, watched uh, Topaz Pearl Girl uh, challenged everyone who owns the pan pastels uh, and doesn't use them to actually use them. So I thought that maybe I could just try them out because I don't use them. I'm too afraid. So um, I um, I'm going to color in this grayscale book. Um, it's called Color My Sketchbook Mythic. And it's uh, Benne Klein and May Klein, his daughter, who makes these awesome pictures. They have a lot of different sketchbooks. Uh, I don't owe them all, but I have a few. And I also want to apologize for the lighting because it's starting to get dark outside and I don't have any special lightings. So the pictures are just different and kind of fun. And it's grayscale. So I wanted something bigger uh, and I chose this one. And I think I'm just gonna, you know, put some color down. I'm not gonna highlight or darken or put shadows in. I will just try to put the basic colors in. And uh, maybe in another video, uh, I can put the highlights and shadows with colored pencil afterwards. So this is the palette I have chosen. And it's some golden yellow, uh, some lighter green, some red oxide browns, and a bit of red. And guys, I've never done this before, so <clears throat> yeah, don't. Now I'm just going to take a peek in the camera to see if you can see the full picture. Yep. So I was thinking to have the green background, the red oxide brown horse, reddish um, mane or hair, uh, the golden yellow frame around here. And actually this here, I'm planning on painting with the black acrylic and put some stars in. I think maybe the horn could be the goldish yellow as well. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with the light green as for the background. And it's the permanent green tint. And you have some kinds, all kinds of different tools. Uh, I'm going to use this one. And 
you can have another one with um, a more uh, sharp tip for some more detail. This one. And then you can use a bigger squishy thing. But I'll try this one. And you just, um, yeah, peel some color off like this. It's okay to uh, put the color on top of places where you don't want the color because you can just erase it afterwards. I will use the one with a uh, thin tip to get in between here. There we go. And then I'm going to try with a darker shade, and that's. Um, let's see. Permanent green. Hope you can see that. And I want it like maybe I need to. I want it the closest to the mirror or horse. So if you would do this with uh, colored pencils, it would take quite a long time. And <coughs> if you haven't, haven't uh, seen Dee Dee's uh, coloring video, no, all her videos, I would suggest that you would go over there and check her videos out. And she, you know, she's amazing at coloring and she um, colors some beautiful uh, Asian faces with using pan pastels first and then color pencil and oh, they look stunning when she's done really uh, she's a true inspiration in coloring and mixed media and Yeah, she, she she makes journal journaling, uh, napkin journals. And stuff. Yeah. 
And then <clears throat> I'm just using a normal paper towel, paper towel, and dry this one off. Like that. And then I'm gonna use my kneaded eraser. I have a uh, electric eraser, but I've put it somewhere and I can't find it. So what I do now is that I will just erase what's come onto the horse. And if I would just have my electric, electric uh, eraser, this would be a lot easier. So when you're done with putting the pan pastel down and you're like satisfied with the amount, then you have to seal it. Um, and I think actually that after sealing it, and if you like find some places you want to put some more pen pastel down, you can do that. But if you want to use color pencil, on top of the pen pastel, you need to seal it. And you can't lay your hand down like this either. Because then you'll, yeah, you'll smear the colors around. So what you're all working on, are you diamond painting, coloring, stitching, painting, knitting, crocheting, leave a comment, let me know what kind of crafts you do, I would, I would really like to know. this will do. And then I'm gonna put some, whoops, dropped it. These break very easy, so you have to be careful. And then I'm gonna take the, I think this kind of pink, I will put the color in the hair and it's um, permanent red tint. Let's see, I'm gonna try to. So my thought was to, I wanted the horse to have red hair. And I wanted to keep the colors a few. Um, so I wanted like a reddish brown, 
color on the horse. And if you put some color down at the wrong place, you just erase it. Unless, as long as you don't have sealed the, the pastels. And I will make his hooves reddish too. Like that. And I will take the darker red. And this is the permanent red shade. And I will try to put it down where the dark is. Yeah, I'm sorry, I get very quiet when I sit here and do this stuff. And as I said, I've never done before, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. falling off. <coughs> and I'll erase some again. And then if you want to make some highlights to the hair, you use this one, uh, the kneaded eraser, and you, you can just erase some of where you want the white highlights. And the good thing with um, grayscale is that you just have to follow what the artist already have put in. Yeah, so now I will put down the brown. I will start with the light. I will try to use a smaller one and I will go a bit darker. Mm. 
and when I want to smooth it out I don't press hard at all. So what I've done here is that I've put a taken color from the palette here and put it on the squishy thing. to go back with that lighter color. And I think Didi said something about that you shouldn't mix the colors on the paper. You get a better result if you mix the colors on these. But yeah, I'm trying anyway. I don't think that makes much different actually. Uh, now I want to take the dark brown and it's the um, red iron oxide shade and it's the third darkest shade. So I will take pick some up and put it down here. And I just want a little bit just where the darkest parts are. some more. Oh, I forgot to start the watch again. Let's see. Now it's just the yellow left. I seriously need to find my electric eraser. That will do. So should I, whoops, I don't know which yellow I should choose. I think that one is too dark.
so I'm just trying to fill the whole frame out with yellow. And then <clears throat> I'm going to find, um, you know, you need some darker yellow color pencils. Uh, and I usually find that quite difficult, actually. So you get that big contrast uh, to get that oomph to it. yellow it's the yellow ochre shade I want it here I will try to put some here. darkest parts Yeah, so I noticed that um, a lot of the diamond painters has started to do some coloring. So that's why I chose uh, also this uh, challenge, which uh, Topaz Pearl Girl threw out. I thought it was perfect challenge. Yeah, I think you get the idea on what I want to do with the picture. And I think it's supposed to be green there. Mm. So I will erase it. Take some green. Some red in there, I think. Oh, what the heck? I'll leave it. Yeah. Then I want to actually paint to get the black to get the complete picture. Um, do I have a black pen here? Small highlight. Do you see any of that? Yep, I'll be right back. Yep, so I brought out 
two brushes and um, my black Americana Americana Deco Art acrylic paint and it's matte. Also, by watching Dee Dee's uh, shows, uh, I've done that for two or three years. I've learned to actually um, enjoy using all kinds of media. Um, when, you know, painting or uh, coloring, especially when coloring, you know, you don't have to use colored pencil, pencils or only markers for the complete picture. You can mix them. And like now I'm using pan pastels, uh, acrylic paint, and then I'm going to use my color pencil, pencils. And I think I'm going to use the Prismacolors. Uh, or I will try different color pencils. I also have my polychromos, which I enjoy very much. If you want to, you know, um, fix the lines that uh, the color pencils go on top of the acrylic pa paint. So that's kind of cool. Here. If you don't want to go all the way to the line, you can fill it in with either a color pencil or if you have like a um, like black, uh, yeah, black pen or Posca pen maybe. I'm actually going to try that myself now. Mm. 
like that. The picture is not complete, but I colored a complete page with pan pastels. So I would consider the challenge finished. So that will be all for today. Um, if you have any question, leave a comment below. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.